Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <clears throat> this is a nature read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone might be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So, yeah, I'm calling it a nature read, because, like, yesterday, me and Brian spent most of our day at the lake. It was so great. And then, this morning, I don't know what it was. Uh, you know, I had a great night's sleep, got up bright and early, drank some coffee, and just, we haven't been in here all morning. Okay, we've been out exploring already, working out, energized, all kinds of good stuff. I mean, I, I saw a dead carcass out there, but you know, I mean, that's the circle of life, and I've seen that several places I've been, so I mean, you know. But, yeah, nature read, feeling good, right? <clears throat> and so, you know, I thought, you know, let me go ahead and do a reading, see what's going on, because uh, we got to get going here. Okay, we, we, our days are full, you know, with activities and stuff, you know, to move us along, right? <clears throat> oh, also, I wanted to add, you know, uh, you know, I have another channel. You can check it out if you want. Yet I have to. It's really not a big deal. But, um, you know, on my journey, I have managed to, you know, kick some addictions, um, improve my health by eating better and exercising. So, uh, you know, I've lost on this journey about 60 pounds, you know, and I think I'm going to start sharing a little bit of what I do. Maybe it might help someone out there, uh, you know, and your health because my health has significantly improved. So um, soon enough, I'm going to be adding this in into the chit chats, the stuff playlist over there just to, you know, just in case someone's curious, you know, what's good for me is not always good for everyone else, right? You might decide something for yourself right <clears throat> so yeah feeling good about that so let's go ahead and um find out here uh what is going on for whoever catches this whoever right <laughs> you could just be wandering by and you see the reading on what's this you know just whoever right all right so we're looking for general energy and there it is wow <laughs> right away Uh-huh. Looky here. We got the emperor here, right? What is he? You know, I don't have the right glasses, so it might take me a second to focus in on this. I got to kind of hold it far from my... <laughs> so this guy's got a staff. He's got a gun. I don't know why... It almost... To me, I don't know if I'm seeing that correctly, but does it not look like that person has like a prosthetic leg? I don't know. But somebody here, you know, that might resonate. I don't know. I don't really know. It just looks like that to me, you guys. Okay. But this person looks like he's he's a fighter, right? He he protects himself. He's he's strong in his power. The emperor, right? Yeah, man. We know that guy. So, you know, somebody here, uh, you might have a leg injury, I don't know, but it looks like you're in your power. This is a good energy to be in. This means that you're basically all the qualities of all the kings, right? And those are good qualities, just like the empress, right? So that's good. All right, your energy is, is real good today <clears throat> or presently, right? I don't know, whenever you see it today, yeah, the day you see it, <laughs> right? All right, let's keep going. So uh, let's see here. What do we have next? What What is going on here for this emperor, right? Because somebody's here for a reason. You're here because you want to see something. I don't know what you're trying to see here. Okay, we got two cards out. So this one fell on the mat. We're going to actually, this is the card. We're going to take, look, the world, something has ended for you, right? Maybe that's what happened. You became someone, you came into your power. You weren't going to stand for whatever, you know, was going on in your life anymore. And you ended it, right? Or, ooh, or somebody ended it with you. 
but I kind of feel like it's you. You ended something. Now, it doesn't necessarily even mean a relationship. You could have been stuck up in your head about something. It could have been school, work, family, friend, whatever. But you ended something. And whatever you ended kind of bumped you up in rank to become this emperor. Because you learned something, I guess, right? That's usually what happens. You learn something and that's when you get bumped up in rank, right? When you learn, you understand, and you apply right let's hope that you're uh you know helping others to get to their uh th this level you know it's very beneficial it's and it's very healing anyhow so you know we got that good energy you let that shit go whatever it was good okay so the other card that came out was the ten of cups oh it's something upright though that's the thing Okay, so you may not have yet let it go. If you're not at this point, you might be thinking about it because, you know, it's looking okay, but, you know, maybe you're missing something here and that's why you're letting it go. It might seem happy and joyous on the outside, but you specifically, Mr. Emperor, you're just not, there's something within you. You have it all. You feel happy and all that stuff. Happy family, happy home. But it's ending because you, there's something here that's, you know, even though it shows this and, you know, maybe every, but there's something lacking within you, right? Things could look okay. For example, ha <laughs> I'll use an example, a health example, right? Healthy. You know, we got a lot of people out there, uh, you know, they're all slim and muscular, good, you know, good looking, whatever. Right. But that's the outside, right? Some people are just naturally slim naturally muscular, naturally doing this and doing that, whatever, naturally, right? But that does not necessarily mean that they're healthy. That's just what you see on the outside, right? That person could drink a lot, smoke a lot, do some drugs, and you might not even know it. So their insides are not uh, quite healthy, right? Their outside may look, wow, you know, but the inside is. So there's your example, right? You can be, like another example, you could be a fitness instructor or somebody who advises people on health. But if you're out there drinking and getting drunk and, and doing drugs and whatever, what kind of example is that? And, and plus your insides are probably hating you right now, especially your liver, <laughs> right? So that's just an example, a health type of example, right? It comes to maybe like a relationship example. Maybe you are happy where you are. You got everything you need, but you're maybe not getting, there's something missing. You still feel like something's missing. I don't know what that is. Only you do. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this 10 of cups back. Oh, another thing. Okay. No, let me bring it back out. Sorry. Another thing that I'm thinking here is that you may be ending a situation because you want 10 of cups. That's another way that it can turn. Yeah. So you might be this emperor standing in your power, ending a situation. Why? Because you have decided that you want this energy of this Ten of Cups. This is uh, happy family, happy home, finding that, you know, this is a great card. It can be. And because it's in the upright, now maybe I'm thinking that that's what it really is. I don't think you're ending something that looks good on the, but you could be, you could be, okay? That's, that is a, that is an option for someone. It doesn't have to be, but <clears throat> what I'm actually thinking is that you might be ending something. Why? Because you want this. Maybe you haven't been able to find or, or the right person, or maybe you've had people standing in your way from having good, healthy relationships. That too. And that's a big one. All right. <clears throat> I'm just going to, I'm going to slip this in in the middle. I don't want to pull it out anymore. If it comes out, it comes out. All right. Bottom of the deck, we do have. Oh, shoot, you guys. I put it in upside down, too. Hold on. Oh, I found it. <laughs> but the but bottom of the deck, we do have. What is this? Gosh. I'm telling you the glasses. I, okay. This is the Three of Swords. Yes. Okay, okay. This is the Three of Swords. So that's what you're going through uh, currently. Maybe you've gone through a lot of heartbreak, but I do see, look, 
Someone's trying to pull those knives out of this person's back. Somebody is tired of being heartbroken, I feel like. Right? So somebody here may actually be healing or trying to heal or has healed, right? From some sort of heartbreak. And, and it could be that you actually had to end it, even though it broke your heart. You had to do it. Maybe it was toxic. I, I don't know. All right. So let's find out what is a possibility from this then. What is an outcome in regards to these two cards? <clears throat> good okay i had to, i couldn't see very well uh good this is the, the six of swords you guys so yeah whatever whatever caused you to end a situation because most likely it was toxic right you're gonna end up leaving it right and the reason why you want to leave it is maybe because you do want ten of cups and this toxic activity or situation or people places things whatever that you've been going through it was toxic it was not allowing you to have a happy life basically and that could also be you know toxic activities drugs alcohol um unhealthy habits you know uh health issues not taking care of your health anything that prevents you from living a good normal forward moving life right prosperous right <clears throat> all right so it looks like somebody is figuring out, and that's why you're the emperor now. That's why you're the emperor now, because you figured it out. Mm -hmm. So somebody is, is uh, going to either get ready to end something you have done it. This might resonate as something you did in the past, okay? And if, it's, if, if it comes up and you're still a little bothered by it, then there's some extra thing within you that you need to find and figure out why you're still bothered by this, you know, or why you're still like, yeah, oh my God, it was so toxic. But, you know, instead of reacting like that, a, a person who would be healed would probably react like, yeah, you know, I did learn my lesson. I did have to end that toxic situation and, and I did move away from it, you know, and if you're just like that and you're like, yeah, you know, then that, that would resonate in that sense right and, and you're and if you're calm and cool within yourself right because you can say that and do that to anyone around you but are you really feeling that way inside you know what i'm saying so <laughs> um it looks like you know you somebody here is going to realize something they're going to end whatever this toxic stuff was which will bump them up into the emperor because they've gone through some shit yeah emperors have usually gone through some sort of traumatic events in their life so you know but, but they become emperor by learning from those lessons and not letting those things happen again, right? <clears throat> so very good. So, you know, a possible outcome here or a future outcome, if you're wondering like, gosh, if I end this, what will happen? Well, you're going to leave a toxic situation and you're going to end up putting yourself somewhere better. And that's so general, you guys. Anyone who leaves any toxic situation, obviously you're going to end up somewhere better, right? Now, you won't end up somewhere better if you're looking for the same type of people. So watch out for that too. They come in all forms, shapes, and sizes. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> what is this? Ooh, we have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So either you are going to free yourself from this or someone's going to be just feeling trapped like they can't get out. Okay. Right. Oh, God, I just got another thought. Sorry, you guys. Another thought here is somebody could actually be in jail or prison, and they've got a lot of time to think about it, right? But I don't like to go there, but it is a possibility. <clears throat> All right. All right, so the next thing we have here uh, for this uh, reading, for this nature, nature, woo! <clears throat> what is that? Now, these are the obstacles, right? Whatever this is, I know there's more than one, okay. Uh, the main obstacles is Page of Swords. Someone can't stop either watching another person, doing some sort of activity, talking shit about another person, uh, speaking out about something. Someone can't stop doing that, okay? Now, this is an obstacle, 
you know? Now, the, the, I, I found, because you know I have experience with this, I don't know. <laughs> I found that speaking out about stuff is, is helpful, right? If you're speaking out about stuff, you know, this is just a suggestion. You don't have to do it. Why, you know, why not just stop, you know, okay. I don't even know how to say that. I feel like somebody may, the an obstacle, somebody may be hooked or addicted to watching something. <laughs> that could be tarot, you guys. Um, hooked or, or, or hooked or watch, I'm watching someone, maybe searching for their social, through their social media, just some sort of spying. Someone is just hooked on doing that. Right? Now, it's an obstacle for you to stop because you're hooked on watching it. But there's so many better things to do. Sitting in and watching tarot is so... Not only is does it prevent you from your daily life and doing fun stuff and loving on yourself and becoming healthy or whatever, it, it's, it, it will bring, you know, it, it stops you from that and it brings down your health. For a while there, when I was doing the tarot, you know, when, you know, when I had realized that toxics of the substances were no longer a part of my life, you know, I focused more on tarot. I thought, okay, I'm going to put out all these readings. I'm going to do this. I'm going to just build my subscriptions and just, you know, because, you know, I, I do it naturally. I don't, I, I'll, all the stuff I have is natural. I don't purchase or likes or subscriptions and I'm not in any part of uh, any spiritual groups. I don't have, I don't have very many spiritual friends, maybe like a handful. So what I do have is I feel grateful, you know, that somebody, you know, I don't know, <laughs> but right on. Anyhow, you know, you can find other things to do. Even if it means not watching me anymore, it's okay and I'm not going to be mad at you. As long as you're doing something that's benefiting your life and doing something better for yourself. Not maybe join a gym, um, take up an activity, uh, maybe you have a talent, work on that, right? Instead of, uh, because you can still like end something leave a toxic situation but you're still keeping that toxicity in you maybe you're curious about what, <laughs> maybe you're curious about what you um uh what you left behind and what they're doing right that's not helping you it's not helping you heal either so somebody here might have a hard time separating themselves from watching someone else's social media, watching tarot, watching something, because they are so curious about what this person is doing now that it's over. So, I mean, just take that how you... I have another card in my hand. What is it? Okay. This is the Ace of Wands. I thought it was seven, but it's an, it's a one. So this is the Ace of Wands. So who you're watching is somebody that you shared some passions with. You might have even had sex with that person. And your passion is just growing and growing as you watch them. That's what I see here. I'm not going to fight you. It's your story. I'm not going to fight you. It's, you know, you know whether it is or not. This could, you know, you maybe somebody did not ha well, have sex with you before. Maybe they see you and they want to. Right? Just take that and put that back. <clears throat> so the obstacle here is that somebody can't stop watching someone because they want them. Or, you know, I don't know. Some kind of goofiness like that. <laughs> right? You know, and uh, yeah. Let's just keep moving. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, so actually, let me just real quick. I do see, look, we have two major arcanas and we have one person here, the emperor, All right? Something came to an end. You left that toxicity behind, but you're still watching. Yeah, let's keep moving. Okay, let's keep moving. Tell me about the final... 
Dun. I don't know why that came to mind. That's probably going to be the Afterthought song. <clears throat> okay. Let me set these to right here really quick. Okay. So, yeah. Now, whether you get out of this mode or not, I don't know. But I know who you're watching. I sure do. You're watching a Queen of Wands. Somebody with fire in their chart. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or... Or, which I don't think so, and I'll explain to you why. Or, this person can be watching you watching someone after you left them, right? So, listen, I don't, I don't think it's that, though. And I'll tell you why, and I'll show you why, right? Because it's obvious, it's showing here in the cards, She's not even looking at anything back there. Look where she's faced. She's faced that way. That's the only reason why I'm seeing that. Somebody's watching her. She don't even give a shit what's going on back here. She's moving forward. Right? She's, well, you know, this is my left. This is my right. I'm not sure how the camera's going to come out. Because sometimes a camera comes out transposed or opposite. So, you know. But I'm going to tell you, this is my left, this is my right. When we go left, we're going back. When we go right, we're going forward, right? Usually. If we were walking, you know, uh, and somebody was watching us walk different directions, right? So, it, to me, if someone is going to the right away from all this, they're moving forward, right? This person's not looking back, not walking back, not doing anything back there. So somebody here is watching this person. So this might be someone's ex that they're watching prosper moving forward confidently with strength. That woman of wands or that queen of wands, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now over here, you guys, remember, this is a possible outcome. Somebody leaving a toxic situation. A possible outcome because another possibility is that they don't leave that and they just stay stuck watching this person forever prosper and be happy and joyful and blah 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 you see that's what I see okay <laughs> even though the glasses aren't doing very well for me I can't give you guys number synchronicities because I can't see the counter so you know so this is mostly coming from intuition here on these cards. But I am showing you, though. I am showing you why I'm, I'm feeling that or seeing this, okay? I'm not just going to say, well, that's how I read. No, it's... I'm trying to be real with you guys, okay? Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. All right. Now, is it the bottom of the deck, you guys? It's in the. It can be either in the upright or reverse. I don't know. It didn't fly out. So we have to consider both, right? Now, somebody's watching another person. Somebody's watching their ex. They're watching their ex move forward and be happy in their life. Now, whether this person is leaving that toxic situation they're in or not, I don't know. And it looks like this person might be that one that it ended with. Because why? Because this person did not want to be in a toxic situation with this person. And that's why she's moving forward with her life, blah, blah, blah. Right? So maybe at one time, this emperor, whoever this is, was not uh, an emperor. Right? Maybe he was toxic and she ended it and left him. And now he, he now he's an emperor because maybe he's went through some trials and tribulations in his life, which has led him to become the emperor. And now he's spying on her. And he's seeing some sort of something. But he's also seeing that she's not looking back. She's moving forward. And I get the energy that she's not. And she don't care. <laughs> she cares about herself. And other things, but not this person, especially if this person had hurt her in the past. 
So if you are in this emperor energy and you're watching somebody that ended something with you and they're walking away, moving forward prosperously, that person has Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius somewhere in their chart. And it looks like somebody here might get the nerve up to actually <sighs> tell somebody something. Because we got this Knight of Wands right here. And that's a messenger. This person's going to express their passions. But remember, people, whoever's watching this, Knights, they come in, they deliver a message, and they leave. Okay? They don't stay. Does your postman ever stay at your mat, at your pad after they deliver the mail? No, they leave. Same thing here. Same thing here. This person may come in passionately, but they're going to leave. So consider that. In the reverse, someone is afraid to send out that message of passion because they don't know what the outcome will be. None of us will ever know the outcome. The only outcome we are responsible is our own and how we want to live our lives. And, you know, that is our own, right? It's not up to anyone else to decide how we find our own happiness, right? <clears throat> but someone here, they're afraid to speak. Someone here will be strong enough to speak. Whether or not she accepts or wants that offer, and you can flip-flop the energies, male, female, whatever. Uh, whether she accepts the offer, I don't know. Okay. So somebody might be going through this. Advice? Any advice from me that I have here? Whoever's spying or watching someone move forward, how about you stop watching and start start doing you? It's keeping you stuck, right? And I don't wish that on anyone, even my worst enemy. I'm serious. Don't watch me. Worry about you, man. You're holding up your life by watching me? Come on, man. That sounds foolish. Don't do that. Even to those who have hurt me. <laughs> Don't do that. You're, you're holding yourself back. Look into your some healing or take up an act to anything else. Right? Now, I don't, I don't really think that's me. But if it is, whoever you are, don't do it. You're wasting your time by, by watching me. <laughs> right? I'm just saying. Okay? It's not going to get you anywhere better. That's for sure. Okay, and yeah, if you're my enemy, oh, well, I still care about you that much to be concerned about your future, too. Now, I'm not going to get mad at you. I'm not going to call anybody here bitches or assholes like I hear. Because, you know, we all are at one point in our life, but I I'm not trying to, you know, go there anymore. We all have potential to move on and, and do well for ourselves, and so do you. It's time to work on yourself, your mind, your body, and your soul. Those should be top priority. That's what you should be spying on. Spying on how to fix that stuff. <laughs> All right? It's not going to be easy. I haven't even reached that yet 100%. But I'm on my way. I feel real good about it. And yeah, I will share some stuff to help me along the way on my other channel. You can go there if you want. You don't have to. But, um... Yeah, that's all I have for you guys. If this resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.